and action. Uh, hello, welcome to Yoga Rocks Box. Um, I'm Helen Revel and this is David Lurry. Hello. It's a little bit sunny at Yoga Rocks today, but we thought we'd provide you with the whole view. So I've got my sunglasses. <laughs> today we're going to have a little bit of a musical interview. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know, it depends upon how you define religious. Because singing mantras is often sung to gods and goddesses. But I say, what's the difference between God and goddess and you and me? Because I could sing to you, Helen Revel, just like I could sing to Saraswati or Kali. And all those things in Saraswati and Kali can be found inside of you and me. So even if I'm singing sacred Hindu songs, I could also sing to Jesus or Mohammed. And just because their names are religious, I can put the intention into my voice and heart. have other teachers that come here that might be more appropriate to answer the question than me. Because I'm just a guy from America, born to a Jewish mother and father. I was raised speaking English. My zeal follow Portuguese, mine Frau wish to Schweiz, and we have lots of languages we speak. However, they say Sanskrit is a language of internal vibration and internal vibrations have a resonance that creates certain frequencies in you and me. Can I say that singing Sanskrit makes me feel different than when I sing in English or Portuguese or French or German? Perhaps it does, perhaps it doesn't. I think that's up to each individually. So as you sing the songs in Sanskrit, is it important to know the meaning of what you're singing and think about it while you're chanting? My thoughts might be different than other teachers you know. You've got teachers here that follow string and bow, quite traditional in their teaching path. I'm a little more sometimes radical and free thinking because often the mind gets in the way of the heart and what we wish to say. When the words have their vibration inside each one uniquely, I think that's where things can be complete. Because it's nice to know who we're singing and why we're singing, but ultimately what happens in each of us is unique and special.
for the former question <laughs> about what you have to know about the words to the song. It's so beautiful. Yes. Okay, um, that's it from Yoga Rock's musical box today. <laughs>